Charlie Belcher, and you're over in <laughs> Safety Harbor this morning. The Bistro, what's going on this morning, Charlie? Yeah, Jim, we thought we'd uh, start outside since it might be the last chance to do so in the next couple of days, be outside before the uh, wicked weather whips up. We are continuing to discover restaurants that call their home an old home. Yeah, it's old houses that have been turned into restaurants every mon uh, Monday morning through the month of October. And we've come to Safety Harbor to Green Springs Bistro. Stick around. I'm going to give you a history of this house, tell you about this wonderful restaurant, and give you a little history of Safety Harbor. Did you know it used to be called Green Springs? I'll tell you all about it when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Hey, Russell, welcome back. Thank Missed you. you last week, my friend. Glad to see you back. Glad to see the Bucks win. I was there yesterday. It was so much fun helping drown out the Saints fans. And I'm going to go to the Bolts game tonight. So excited. So much going on in Tampa Bay. And so many great restaurants in Tampa Bay. Many that call old homes home now. We're visiting old houses that are now restaurants. We're at Green Springs Bistro in Safety Harbor. And we'll take you there when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Hang uh, every week is at Safety Harbor. Bistro this morning. Hi there. Maybe just sound like some grazing cow, don't you? But that, that's all right. That, that's fine. I wake up hungry all the time. It's true. I can't deny it. We're checking out old houses that are now restaurants, and there's a bazillion of them in the Tampa Bay area. My Facebook is filled with suggestions, and I thank you all for it. Uh, we're going to go to as many as we can in the next few weeks. We are at Green Springs Bistro, which is calls this old home home, and Paul Capsalis, one of the you own it with uh, your partner Chris. Chris Kubik, yes. You guys uh, own Green Springs. I've uh, been in Safety Harbor for a decade now. Yeah, about uh, years. Yeah. Been in this house for how long? About six years. About six years. Now, what is it about an old house that you like to have your restaurant in? Why, why an old house? Just homey. So it's a real good place to come. You know, come enjoy a meal at and. Just different than most restaurants, basically. Yeah, you, you said you, you couldn't see yourself in a strip center or at some exactly. parking lot up Yeah, front. it's just, you know, we have nice brick streets. So, you know, park your car. Instead of walking through the mall, mall parking lot, you walk down a nice brick street, you know. Yeah, very nice. And there's so much character in, in this house. I, I love it. It was obviously done on purpose. Yeah, we have a, a lot of our good friends are local artists in town, and uh, they all came together with both restaurants and helped us decorate and paint tables and the walls and everything, actually. And you say both restaurants, because it used to be located over a couple blocks over. Yeah, just a block over and another small house. And yeah. now uh, expanded a little bigger house, and we're at 2nd uh, and 4th? is that second, right? second, second and 4th, yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, and tell me about the, the, the menu. Tell me about the restaurant. What, Gulf Coast cooking. Yeah, it's basically, we, we take it as much as we can out of the Gulf of Mexico, and uh, a bit old southern recipes, Florida recipes, and I'm Mediterranean, so we mix that in a little bit and some Greek flavors throughout nice. the menu. That's the Cap Salas last name. That's right. All right, we're going to uh, check out the house, check out the menu, and uh, so i got to say, Paul and I, we went to school together. Both went to Appalachian State University at the same time. <laughs> Didn't know each other. Now we know each other. All right, stick around. It's going to be a good day, Tampa Bay. Hey, everybody, we are visiting old houses that are now restaurants, and we're in Green Springs. Actually, we're in Green Springs. They call it Safety Harbor now, but I'll get into that history in a second. Green Springs Bistro. We bellied up to the bar, have a little coffee, and it's a good place where there's live music here often. Stick around. We'll tell you about the history of this house when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. restaurant that gives home cooking a whole new meaning. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Safety Harbor this morning. On Mondays, we've been investigating, looking into, discovering these wonderful restaurants that call home old homes, old houses that have been turned into restaurants. So today we're at Green Springs Bistro. Check it out. If you stop by Green Springs Bistro in Safety Harbor, no doubt you will feel right at home. That's because it was a home until Green Springs Bistro moved in a few years ago. House was built in the 30s. Um, it was actually one of the only houses on the street to survive a major hurricane. And yeah, it's one of uh, many wood frame buildings in Safety Harbor. Uh, definitely, you know, wanted to capture the, the local charm of the old architecture. We transformed the uh, several rooms into a kitchen. Um, we kept the original kitchen and made it a waitstaff area, put in a bar, uh, did, did a bunch of renovations to it. We actually had to put in three new bathrooms uh, to comply. But uh, it was a challenge, but it's definitely worth it. The finished product's worth it, I think. It's, it's, you know, it's definitely unique. 
Unique is a great adjective to describe the funky feel inside. It's important to us that you come back. So if it's, if it's just a regular restaurant, it's not going to draw you back. So we are, we're fortunate to have a lot of artist friends that paint the tables and the walls. And it just kind of gives you something you want to return to. Paul cannot imagine his restaurant anywhere else but in a house. We couldn't think of being in a strip mall. Just it's not, not what we want to do. That's not what we do. When you walk in, you already have that sense of home there. And it kind of just ties the whole eating experience together. The house provides a sense of history, as does the name. In fact, did you know that the town of Safety Harbor was once called Green Springs? Dr. Green came, had rheumatoid arthritis, and he bathed in the springs and was cured. So he actually named the town Green Springs after himself. Huh. When they applied for a post office, there was already another green something in Florida close by. So they denied them, and they named the town Safety Harbor. Whatever you call the town, Paul just hopes you'll call his restaurant home. And they've got a lot of live music here. Michael Rush providing a little guitar music for us this morning. He also plays here uh, every day for lunch and on Friday and Saturday nights. Giving you something uh, to eat by, a little nice dinner music. And how about that? I did not know. I used to live in Safety Harbor. And I didn't realize that it used to be called Green Springs. It was actually called Bailey's Bluff, I think he told me before that. So. There you go, a little hometown history to go along with a, a good meal. When we come back in the next half hour, we'll see the food. Enough about the house. Let's look at the food. Talk about the menu, Russell and Ann. That music, it's good for today. It is. It's what? Good music, isn't it? Yeah. yeah nice we're and soothing. Off. This, I mean, it's an old house, and, and that's nice, but you got to feed people the right kind of food, and this looks fantastic. Take it to Green Springs Bistro in Safety Harbor when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from Green Springs Bistro in Safety Harbor. We're taking a look at restaurants that are in old houses. And we got Michael Rush playing guitar for us in the other room. Paul Capsalis, it's his place. He's the chef. We're going to get right to it. Tell me about everything on this table. Why don't we start down there? All right, we have that Greek sanganaki cheese. Oh, I love sanganaki. Oh, so good. Uh, sesame crusted mahi mahi. Uh, shrimp sausage and grits, big favorite. And we're going to cook that in the next Yeah, we're going to cook that for sure. This is our ingredients, uh, smoked sausage from the small sausage house across the street and Captain Richard's smoked salmon. Uh, ben Ali, which is like a Greek pizza. Oh, it looks so good. Lunchtime. Crab That's cakes? A, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Crab cake, blue crab cakes. Mm. And uh, there's a bacon wrapped uh, salmon. That was our special this past weekend. Bacon it does not salmon. normally come with Jason Bird's ID. In it, so <laughs> little, sorry about that. Look at that on the back of your ID. Come on. <laughs> Bacon, <laughs> yeah, bacon balsamic reduction on his uh, ID card there. Yeah, so bacon wrapped salmon. That sounds That's good. Right. And then for dessert? We have the black and blue cobbler, big favorite of ours. Blackberry blueberries with uh, vanilla bean ice cream. Somebody on my Facebook page this morning said make sure you try that. Yeah, that was super, fantastic. Super good. And then we've got the, uh, the chocolate pecan uh, bourbon. <laughs> Bourbon chocolate pecan pie and that with the okay. vanilla bean ice cream. I'm sorry, now it's getting on your jeans. Just give it to me here. All right, fine. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Can't take him anywhere. Uh, looks fantastic. Thank you for going through that so quickly. Great menu, great house, great ambiance. You feel right at home when you walk in. We're going to feel at home inside the kitchen because we're going to cook up some uh, shrimp and grits. Yes, sir. All right. Sounds good, everybody. I don't know about you, but this looks like a pretty good breakfast to me. It's definitely going to be a good day, Tampa Bay. Stick around and go Bolts. Hey, this used to be a house, and now it is a restaurant, Green Springs Bistro in Safety Harbor. In fact, this was two bathrooms and a closet. Now it's the kitchen. And Chef Paul, cooking up some shrimp and grits. We'll order it up when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher. We're in Safety Harbor this morning, coming to you from Green Springs Bistro. We're checking out old houses that are now restaurants. This is indeed one of them. Paul Capsalis, uh, turns out we both went to the same school, Appalachian yeah, State Appalachian University. State, for sure. We're there at the same time. Happy Appies. Yeah, happy Abby. Go App State. And we're talking, and then you said, then you went to CIA. Okay. And I thought, oh my God, the guy was a spy. And now he's here cooking. Turns out CIA is actually Culinary Institute of America. That's right, Hyde Park. Yeah. More prestigious than the, the Central Intelligence well, Depending Agency. on what you do for a living, yeah. Uh, so good for you. You uh, That's in New York City? Uh, New York Upstate. That's New York Upstate? Yeah, New York Poughkeepsie. Uh, so, so that's something you always wanted to do? Is yeah, it was cooking? a dream of mine to go to CIA. I, I did, and boy, it was great. I mean, it was years ago, but I, I got a good retention rate. Good, good for you. Good for you. All right, so now we're in your kitchen, Green Springs Bistro. Can I do some shrimp and grits? That's right. All right, what's your secret for cooking good shrimp? 
Well, good good ingredients, Charlie. It's yeah. always a secret for sure. Right here, we've got a pan full of uh, a little bit of oil and butter, and uh, we're just dropping some floured shrimp, shrimp into it. Is that just flour on it? No, just no, flour. No flour, salt, pepper. Yeah. Okay. Um, you get all your seafood like locally all here? All locally, yeah, yeah. A lot of it comes out of Tarpon Springs and Madeira Beach. Good for you. This what do you have? What do you add? A little bit of garlic. Garlic to the pan. And toss that around. And it doesn't take shrimp long in the pan, right? Not like, at all. Just when it starts to curl up. You're gonna let that go for just you know about 10, 20 seconds and add the add the sausage. The sausage is also local to Safety Harbor. Um, it's made over on 9th Avenue and uh, really, really good product, smoked sausage. And we're gonna let that saute for 20, 30 seconds till it's done. We're gonna take it out of that pan, and when we do, we're gonna add the spinach. Okay. What, now, how about the grits you got going over there? I, yeah, the what's, grits. This, what's the secret that you don't... I, I'm a southern boy, and my wife, she can cook some grits. But, man, every time I used to try, it always burns on the bottom. You, you got to stir, stir them. them. Yeah, low heat, stir them, and just start slow. Always start slow. Our secret in our grits is we, we actually use chicken stock instead of water. So that's... Oh, is that right? Yeah, it's kind of a little secret. So if you use that at home... So out of here, we're going to put the shrimp here and let them wait for a few minutes. We'll do our spinach in the same pan. Oh, nice. So you got all the uh, Yeah, you get all your juice, juice with sausages and stuff. So we're just going to add that in the pan. Excellent. Uh, you guys are open for lunch when? Tuesday through Saturday for lunch, 11.30 to 2.30. For dinner? Dinner, 5.30 to 9.30, Tuesday through Saturday as well. Excellent. We got the grits in the pan there. He's going to saute up the spinach. He throws it all on the plate, and it looks a lot like that right there. Very nice. Very nice. Paul, thank you very much, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good thank to see you. you. Green Springs Absolutely. Bistro. Very great house. Beautifully decorated. And, uh, oh, yeah, good food, too, Anne. That is the uh, key ingredient. Got to have good food, have a good restaurant, right? Can't have a success without it. Charlie, enjoy your breakfast. Thanks. Yes, ma'am.